Hey guys, it's Eitan. I'm here in beautiful Eagle Rock, California with Husbands That Cook. Hey guys. You may have recognized them from our video this Monday. Today is Thursday and you guys know every Thursday I do a video that's a little different from my cooking videos. And this is a highly requested video I get asked all the time for behind the scenes and some tips and tricks when I do food photography and I'm here with some amazing food photographers. Thank you. So our combined knowledge I think is going to come out make to pretty a great picture. This past week on Monday I made, we guys watched, not I, we made <laughs> um, their blueberry, oh my god, I keep saying blueberry, blackberry <laughs> vanilla mojito um, recipe and today we're going to be photographing it and we're going to take you guys along so let's just get started. Okay so what we have going on over here is right over here is um, we're going to call it like the dummy food yes, uh, exactly. or stand in food mm -hmm. because this is what we actually made in the video. It's kind of getting all wilted now, the ice is melting um, and what this allows us to do is we have the same size of everything in colors so we're able to get the lighting correct, the, compose, uh, the composure correct um, and then once everything's perfect you just swap in a brand new one. Um, and then it looks super fresh, you get the picture as well, it's at like the optimal time. And so today we're actually shooting tethered as you see, and what I love about shooting tethered is that you get A, like every what you compose is like right, like if, if your camera doesn't really move, and we're actually going to be sending all the pictures to my computer and we can edit them as we're shooting. So here, if you guys want to just come here so you can see kind of yeah, how... It's composed, and this is your tripod, so if you want to move it around okay, to what good. you think will look good. Mm. And while you two work on this, um, I'm just going to show you guys what I have going on here. So when you're taking pictures um, just for yourself, for your Instagram, if you're not like a food blogger, you definitely don't need this whole setup. But if you want to step it up and you have a DSLR and you have a computer, um, what I'm using right here is Lightroom, and it's connected now to our computer. And if you watch this, I'm actually able to check this out automatically takes the picture. That's so cool. <laughs> and then, wait a second. So as you can see, the picture appears right here. And what I love about this is that I'm actually able to crop it right in here for Instagram. So four by five, right around there. And again, none of this is permanent. That's you can cool, always yeah. adjust it. And then we can do all the editing. So if I want to like turn up some of the clarity, I really love that. That's all. I messed up. Let's try again. We can turn up the clarity, we can, you know, we can even look, you can mess up with the exposure, uh, but we don't want it to be super bright like that. Uh, we can boost up the vibrance, and it really kind of gives you a really nice idea of what your final shot's going to be. And then we can play around for textures, and then see really what looks good already here. And it makes editing so much easier, like my editing now takes like less than 20 minutes because I just pick my favorite picture. I love it. It's already done, it's makes slight adjustments, maybe in Photoshop if I need to take something out. Um, and yeah, so do you guys want to talk about what you're doing with the framing? Yeah, so it looks like here, as you can see there, we have um, a little bit of burlap underneath. Um, and so we have that texture there. What do you think about, should we pull out or do you like that, that tight framing like that? Um, I think we can pull out a little bit. And I really love how the blackberries are leading into the drink. I think we mm -hmm. can get some more in the frame. The light, the way it's hitting it is really pretty right now. Yeah. I'd say we could bring in some more of that so that way your eye kind of gets drawn in from the blackberries into the drink. So good. yeah, we'll put in some more there. Should we go make so what we're doing now is just kind of playing around. One thing that's really important with food photography is having lots of great textures. So as you guys can see over here, we have this really great like rustic surface over here. We have, what's this called, burlap? Yeah. Yes, burlap, exactly. Burlap over there. Um, and then we have the glass and the mug, not the mug, the cup. Um, <laughs> and it really just all comes together and kind of creates a story, which is really what food photography um, is you want to, you're trying to create a story. All right, so while we're doing this, now we've kind of got it composed. There are three things when you're shooting with the DSLR that you want to think about. Um, now that we have it styled, we kind of already know what we're going to look we're going for. So the first thing is the depth of field, which is the f-stop. So the smaller the f-stop, the actual, the bigger the opening in the camera is, so it lets in more light. And what that's going to do is give us a shallower depth of field. So for this, I'd assume we're probably going to want to make sure that the whole glass is in focus, because um, like, I think one thing a lot of photographers, I don't know if you guys experience this, um, like I, I definitely know for me in the beginning, once I got a DSLR, 
every single picture I did, like I made like nothing in focus. If right. you go on my blog, like the beginning, like some of my pictures, like you couldn't see anything. I just was obsessed with like just like the front rim yeah, of the glass. Exactly. And that's it. Yeah. Um, so I think that's one easy thing to like get stuck in um, when you're shooting on a DSLR for the first time. So you definitely want to make sure you use an f-stop. Right now we're shooting about um, 5.6, okay. which should get in everything there. Um, and then since we're shooting on a tripod today, we can use really as slow of a shutter speed, which is how fast it takes the picture. Right. Right. So if you're shooting handheld, you want to use a pretty fast one because you're a little shaky, but we're shooting on a tripod so I can shoot um, at anything we need. And then ISO, you always want to keep as low as possible so right. it doesn't have the graininess. Right. Um, and so we see just figure out what, um, what f-stop we want mm -hmm. and go to the lowest ISO. We have this beautiful huge window, this is like amazing. You yeah, how, you that's, it really helps a lot. It yeah, really you guys get great light, light in your <laughs> pictures. Um, and then we kind of just adjust the shutter speed to make like, the, it's kind of like a math place, just, or like a right. puzzle, put everything together. Um, and yeah, so let's just keep styling, making little adjustments, and that's really how you do it to get the perfect picture. So let's keep adjusting. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so as you see, we just made one of the fresh mocktails. We are now swapping it out go. right over here. And now let's get a picture, and we're just gonna see how this one looks, see if we need to make any adjustments. So I would say we got the picture exactly. here, right over here on the screen now, you guys can see this beautiful picture we got. Uh, if you guys want to make this recipe, the video is up on my YouTube channel, it'll be in the edge card and in the links down below. And yeah, this was super cool. If you have any questions about food photography, feel free to reach out to me or Adam and Ryan at Husbands at Cook on Instagram. And yeah, and if you want to make this, like I said, the video is linked below. This was super fun. Thank so you guys fun. for yes. teaching Thank me for having us. everything about, you know about food photography, definitely going to take some of these tips. Uh, with me home when I do more food photography and thank you guys so much for watching this thank was you. super fun If you liked the video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for tons of more awesome videos And yeah, this is super fun. All right We're now gonna go finish these pictures edit them and then get ready to post on Instagram when this video comes out. Bye, Bye. Bye guys. Thanks for watching <laughs>